Hey guys, Joel back at it once again with some A-level further maths topics and today we are going to be talking about organ diagrams. So if you haven't caught the first two lessons, they're on complex numbers. You will need that knowledge to progress with today's lesson uh, on organ diagrams. Um, just once again, I am not a qualified teacher. I, I purely do this for fun. So, um, you know, I may not be the best teacher in the world. But, um, yeah, there's going to be a playlist on the channel. We'll be doing... Uh, a variety of topics from through further pure mechanics maybe a bit of stats as well in there so the learning objective for today is to understand how to display complex numbers on an organ diagram so here we go we know what a complex number is and we've said at the last couple of lessons z equals x plus i y where x is the real part and i y is the imaginary part but just like x's and y's we can plot these complex numbers on a graph according to their reals and their imaginaries so here we go um, we call this graph an organ diagram and they look like any other graph but we plot their real against their imaginary so if you imagine x against y it would become real against imaginary and it looks a little bit like this so we've got the imaginary axis and the real axis and we we'll label those RE and IM no prizes for guessing what they mean and instead of going along the corridor and up the day up the stairs we then tilt and then go so it's all to do with angles um, and it all comes from this reference point here we always start pointing right and then we can tilt that so it can either go like that and then like that so that could be uh, a point on an organ diagram so you've tilted and then you've gone so let's do an example so we can work out two main things from this so-called argon diagram we can work out the modulus and the principal argument well we need those two to actually plot the uh, the argon argon diagram um, so the modulus is simply the distance from the origin so we can work this out by doing Pythagoras of the real and the imaginary components because if you imagine uh, going out real so going along and then going up imaginary you're creating a right angle triangle and it work out the distance we simply just do the Pythagoras of them and it's often denoted as Z or you put the Z in jail uh, that is the modulus sign you'll come across that in core 3 and core 4 uh, A level uh, the principal argument is the angled, uh, angle uh, measured from the origin but it must be in radians uh, so you change your calculator to radians and that is simply this angle here so it's how far you've tilted around the world and we we'll measure it in radians working out argument is more difficult as it all depends on its position from the origin and it's often denoted as arg z so just like sine z or cos z it's arg z uh, so here we go plot the complex number 6 plus 8i on the argon diagram find its modulus and its principal argument so just like uh, an x and y we would just simply plot it so there's six there's eight and we're gonna stick a little dot in between like that and we always label on what argon diagrams and we say z1 equals six plus eight i and you might want to just draw in a line as well uh, the modulus is the distance from the origin so that's from the origin which is this little point down here this little circle and that is the distance because we've created a little right angle triangle here if we look at that line and obviously going up imaginary sorry it's not straight but that is a right angle triangle and we work out that distance by doing the Pythagoras and if you know your Pythagorean triangles uh, then you know that that's going to be 10 so the modulus of Z1 is 10 and the argument is the angle with reference to the origin so we always start pointing this way so uh, you, you might want to just stick your arm there and just tilt it up tilt it down wherever it's going uh, so it's going to be that angle there which is theta and the arg of z1 is going to be the opposite over the adjacent uh, using standard tri trigonometry and then shift tan it so that's known as the arc tan of 8 sixths which is 0 0.927 remember we are working in radians at this level of work so uh, just to be clear 
Uh, you can convert degrees into radians by simply dividing by 180 and times them by pi. Uh, that's another way to work out what radians are, just if, if you don't feel comfortable working in them. Because, you know, I still use degrees, really, uh, on the most famous uh, radian sort of values. But, uh, yeah, so that's the first example. Now then, plot the the complex number 4i on the organ diagram. Find its modulus and principal argument. Well, you might notice that there's no real component. So we'll just be simply going straight up and 4's up there. And z2 equals 4i. Uh, remember that the modulus is the distance from the origin, so we draw a nice line from the origin to the point, and we'll find it by taking Pythagoras. But if you if you're really uh, clever, then you'll know that that we've just walked four up the axis, so it must just be four. Uh, the argument uh, is the angle with reference to the origin. So remember, we always go right and. Well, this means that this is a right angle, so yeah, 90 degrees, and 90 degrees in radian world is pi by 2. So there you go, arg z2 is pi by 2. Now then, plot the complex number minus 7 minus 24i on the organ diagram and find its modulus and principal argument. So, uh, I think we should be pretty fine with plotting that like that. Remember that the modulus is the distance from the origin. So it's just that. And we take Pythagoras and get that. But remember, the argument is the angle with reference to the origin. So if we start this way, we do that. We can either tilt all the way around, or we could be cheeky and just tilt this way. But we're going to have to do something to that answer if we do it that way. And that's the way real mathematicians do it. So I'm going to work out theta first because obviously we need the right angle triangle. So that right angle triangle there with theta in this little corner, I'll just get rid of um, this ink here. Um, and that, and that, and that. And that'll just make it a little bit more clear. So this is a right angle triangle with dimension 7 and 24. So we'll do it up in the top left. The, the arctan of that is 1.287. So that's for theta. But that's for that angle. We actually want the angle, so we'll, that angle, so we'll subtract from pi. Because remember, it's tilt from origin. So we want this angle, uh, the blue one, because that is the tilt from the origin. But remember, if we're going the opposite way to what we usually do, we usually tilt that way, then we're going to have to stick a negative on it. There you go. So arg z3 equals minus 1.855 uh, after we've subtracted from pi, because 180 degrees is pi. Angles on a straight line add up to 180, so that's where that comes from. But it is perfectly acceptable to work out the whole of this angle, so theta plus pi is uh, the tilt angle going that way on, but minus 1.855 is the tilt angle that way on. So that that is this is generally how we would do it, but I'm sure you wouldn't lose any marks for, for doing it the other way. You just look a bit clumsy. And that is that. So, uh, a bit of a quicker lesson there. I wasn't expecting it over so quickly. But hopefully you guys have found this helpful. Obviously, please leave a like if you did. Um, you know, it'll, it'll let us know that uh, these lessons are of a, a good quality. Um, let us know your feedback down below. And if you, if you have any questions about modulus and argument and argon diagrams, then leave them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So, thank you very, very much for watching and I hope it's helped. And I hope you're having a great day. Goodbye.